Okay, I'll play with you. You wanna play rap? Say hello to my new friend! Tony, come on, man! Jesus Christ, they're everywhere! We got your car out in front, but the entry collapsed, so we couldn't get to you! We can use the underground passage to the backyard and then to your car! Fucking go, man! Let's go! have taken over the mansion, but there's nothing left. Nothing for him to come back to. His empire is destroyed. Gotta talk to Sheffield. Set things straight. Find out what he knows. I want to talk to George. May I ask who's inquiring? Why don't you tell him Tony Montana would like to have a word with him? Hello? You there? Of course, Mr. Montana. Mr. Sheffield is interested to speak with you as well. Okay. You want to let me in or is this how we're going to do business now? Through the hole in the wall? Mr. Sheffield is having a business lunch at the Babylon Club at the moment. I can tell him that you wish to speak with him. That's okay. Mr. Montana? Jesus Christ, I thought you were dead. You writing a fucking book or what? No, no, I, I just... Do you know how hard it's been to get any good coke around here? Is that Hossa Sheffield in the club? Yeah, he in here. There's a couple of guys from Vice in here, too. 
Watch your back, Tony. Thanks, man. If you're wanting free legal advice, how about a little head? Seriously. We need to talk, George. What do you want? Tony? I want Sosa's head on a fucking platter, man. Sosa, Tony? Impossible. Why? You got some kind of shortage of platters? Tony, come on. Where the hell you been? What happened? War. That's what. Sosa probably think I'm dead or run off or something. Well, I'm back, okay? This is my town, my world, George, and nobody's gonna take it away from me. I come to talk to you first because you know what's going on. You still work for me, George, huh? You still my lawyer? Tony, babe, you know the score. Uh, it's going to be dangerous to be associated with you right now. Word's going to spread that you're back in town. Can't do it. Spread the word, Chef. Come on, look at me. I know Miami. I'm going to take it all back. You know it's true. So surprised taking all those other guys for a big ride. Caspar Gomez, Nacho Contreras, the Diaz brothers, they're all fucking worms. Hey, you want me? It's going to cost you, Tony. And more than before. None of that chicken feed either. Where's the loyalty, George, you fucking snake? I know you got connections. You just gotta make it happen. You took my money before, and that makes you just as bad as me. But I'm alive, George. I'm alive. And now what you gonna do, huh? You still work for me. All right, Tony. You wanna get something going? A friend of mine runs the bar in Coconut Grove. Talk to her. Coco. Never heard of her. What's all over your face, pal? Your wife's pussy. Well, little man, I'd be real careful walking around town with that stuff. Yeah, you never know who you might run into. Hey, who'd you call in little man? I kicked your ass all over the dance floor, okay? Okay, Tony, no more bullshit. You know how this works. We've got your mansion locked up tighter than a nun's ass, and if you want it back, you're gonna have to cough up the cash. Oh, you guys don't quit. You're like a, like a fucking cockroach, always looking for that hole to crawl into and worm your way in. Look, buddy, we know what you're up to. We've got our eyes on you now. Watch for us. We're everywhere. You know what I'm talking about? The cable guy, pizza Fuck delivery. This. Hell, we might even be cleaning your mama's carpets. Fuck that. I gotta talk to Felix, see what he knows. Felix, how'd you doing, man? Oh, shit. It's fucking true. Oh, word spreads fast. Tony, Jesus, it's good to see you. How's business, Felix? Just still working all the angles? It's tough, Tony. I've been laying low, you know, since you left. Sosa's trying to run me out. He's putting the squeeze on all the small-time suppliers. Surprise! All that gonna change. The others are pissed. Nacho Contreras and the Diaz brothers lost out. They heard about Sosa working with Gaspar. It's a war, Tony. They're all trying to take over what you had. Tell me what you know, man. I was at your storehouse two months ago, you know? I didn't know what was going on. Word on the street was that you were dead, so I had to look around. When I got there, I recognized a couple of your guys, but then I saw Gaspar. He was inside watching over the loading of a delivery truck. I bought a couple of keys off them, but the price was jacked. It's been tough since you left, Tony. There are only a few independent dealers you can trust anymore. That's all gonna change. Do you work for me? We take this town by the balls. I'm with you, Tony, if you need me, man. I need to start making my own moves. Gotta get back in, you know? Gonna have to pay off the vice to get my mansion back, fuckers. From there, we can rebuild the business. Take what I've got to get you started. Talk to Coco. She's one of the only dealers we can trust anymore. She works the bar down in the Grove. If you ever need a hit to get rolling, just come find me, Tony. Okay, man. Tony! It's good to have you back, man. That's right, baby. Going after the new song. Everybody's wearing them. Just make sure if you're one of the guys that's wearing it like us. Give me a scotch. On the rocks? Straight up. I know you. No, we never met. No. But you've been here before. A long time ago. You were with another man. Tall, good looking Cuban guy. Oh, you got a good memory, Tiger. Felix forgot to mention that. Felix? <laughs> that dog? He owes me a night out. You know each other? Felix is working for me now. 
He said you might be interested in what I got to offer. Well, that's fine in the boy, isn't it? Look, supply is tight in Miami right now. Expensive. All my shit's being controlled by Gaspar Gomez. That prick keeps the prices too high. I know this town better than anyone. I get the shit, you sell it. I collect my coke, you keep yours. Hmm. Okay. You've got a deal. What do you go by? Montana. But you can call me Tony, okay, Posica? Okay, Tony. I can only push so much product in a day. The bar has its limits. The others around, though, just can't always trust them. Me? I only trust one person. I hear you, Tiger. The government not paying you clowns enough? Hey, buddy, we're Vice. Not some loose-knit government agency looking for handouts. You know how this is gonna work from here on out, don't you? Fuck you. Mel Bernstein tried this shit on me once, and it didn't work out so good for him, you know. Mel? He wasn't a team player, Montana. You did us all a favor. Look, Montana, Miami is our backyard. The people pay us to make sure scumbags like you keep the economy nice and stable. We don't want to get in the way unless you force us to, understand? Our boys on the street keep tabs on you. You start doing too many things that upset the people, then your heat goes up. If your heat gets too high, then we'll be forced to make a house call. So, if you want to keep it cool with us, Montana, we suggest you make a donation. Maybe you two should go home and donate a little something to your wives, you know? Relax a little. <laughs> We're watching you, boy. Felix, it's Tony. Hey, Tony. Did you see Coco? Oh, yeah. She said you're terrible in bed, man. Look, I got my old house back. The fucking vice. This place could use a cleaning, you know, like, uh, like a maid or something. Felix, you know what you were saying about Gaspar working out of that storehouse? Yeah, Tony. What do you think that cockroach is doing? What kind of operation is he running here? Well, it looked like he was running cash out of there. I saw an armored van in one of the delivery bays. He's probably smuggling cash for laundering. It's a lot of guards, but not impossible to get a look. You want me to go in? No, that's okay, man. I paid that Hassa a visit myself. I have a message for Gaspar. They need to be delivered in person. Yeah, I'll have to check with Mr. Gomez first. Uh, who may I ask is the message from? You tell him that Tony Montana is on his way up to settle a debt. Just a minute, please, sir. Sir, I insist that you stop. I, I will have to call security, sir. You're like some kind of wild animal, and I like it's that. It's not that I'm all about money. It's just... What else is there? This is a great life. Cooking is curious, man. It's stronger than a Yankee dollar. This should come you down, fucker! Stop! You fucking crossed the line! Stop! Who the fuck are you? Where's Gaspar? Who am I? I work for Mr. Gomez. I handle his security. Look like you need to upgrade. Where's the Hassa? I want to talk to him in person. It's none of your motherfucking business. But let's just say Gaspar's on a business trip, Tony. Why you gotta talk to me like that, huh? Like you got some fucking baseball bat up your ass or something. You would know what that feels like, Cubano. 
The next thing out of your mouth is gonna be your teeth, Buddha! Shit! Die! Gaspar, you sound fatter on the phone. Who the fuck is this? Where's Ricardo? I take him back what you owe me, Gaspar. Montana? Hey, fuck you, man! to make a deposit. Can I have your account number, please? And I'd like to talk to my manager, Jerry. Mr. Montana? Oh. What's the matter? You seen a ghost? Well, n no. Uh, Jerry will be pleased to see you, Mr. Montana. Oh, I bet. How much would you like to deposit today? You kidding or what? Did you see that truck out there? Okay. Perhaps you should talk to Jerry personally. He's in his office. He's regional manager now. Is that so? Look like Jerry done well for himself, huh? You can come in through the teller door. I'll buzz you in and inform Jerry that you're on your way. Sir, Mr. Montana is on his way up to see you. Tony? Really? Um, I didn't authorize this visit, Kathy. Could you inform Mr. Montana that I'm extremely busy and that I'll get back to him as soon as I can? Hello, Jerry. Tony, it's good to see you. Oh, you too, Jerry. Look like you've done pretty well for yourself. What, this? Just climbing the corporate ladder. You know how it is. Gotta take care of the family, right, Tony? Oh, but you gotta look out for yourself first. Right, Jerry? Tony, sit down. Can I get you a drink? No, I'm okay. Okay. It's been a while, Tony. How can we help you? Help me? Jerry, come on, man. I'm the one who's helping you, remember? Or this? This hasn't come from selling Girl Scout cookies, man. I took a little vacation, you know? I things got a little bit crazy, but that's done. I'm back, Jerry. Look, Tony, you have to understand my position. Look at it from my side. I, I can't lie to you, Tony. I like you. I consider you as a friend. Oh, that's good, Jerry. You're really good, you know? I see that look in your eye, you know? I can read you like a fucking book. I can see this is dangerous for you. It's dangerous for everybody now. I'm back. You show me some balls right now, and we can make this work again, okay? You be my banker, Jerry. We go right to the top. How much are you bringing in? I got a truck full of it outside. Right. You've always been a good customer. I respect that. But I'm running a legitimate business here. 
and I'm going to keep it that way. I'll open a new account for you, but you have to allow my bank to take a percentage out of your deposits to help cover the tracks. Look, I know how it works, Jerry. I'm going to fight you on this. Every deposit I make. I'm not going to let you watch your fucking hands in the money I risk my life for. Fuck that. Welcome back, Tony. I'll authorize your new account. If you return downstairs, you can work out the details with Susan. Okay, Mr. Montana, your new account has been activated. Anytime you wish to make a deposit, you can return to any of our branches and negotiate a rate. And as a valued customer, we'd like you to have this. What the fuck is this? A magazine? Nah, I don't want any junk mail, okay? You can take me off your list. It's a catalog. You can use it to purchase items reserved for our more influential clients. Oh, yeah? Can I buy a tiger from this thing? I believe that the tiger will be made available soon, yes. This is Felix. Yeah, Felix. It's Tony. Did you get into Gaspar's penthouse? See what he's up to? Yeah, the fat fuck wasn't there, but I managed to get a few things. I got this new phone, some sort of satellite voice tracking shit. I think the Russians made it. Those commies are probably listening to us right now, but I don't give a fuck. We got other things to worry about, man. Felix, we need to buy some kind of business, you know? We need, like, a front so we can increase the flow of product to the street. You got some leads? Mm, I don't know, Tony. Maybe. Uh, there's a pawn shop in Little Havana. You know about it? What, you mean Pedro's? Yeah, that's it. Everybody got a price, man. You know. Tina! Did I ever call? She call me? No? Okay, look. If she call, you tell her uh, that I love her, okay? Now sell me my fucking car. ¿Y qué pasa, man? I heard you trying to sell this place. How about I pay you in cash, you work for me, and we go straight to the top. How'd you like that? Sounds fucking great, but the cops... One of my contacts told me they're coming to check up. If they find all these hot goods, they'll shut me down. I got to go get rid of them right away. I took care of your chip, man. The cops won't find anything now. Holy fucking shit, thanks, Tony. Coño. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Now don't try to sell me anything, okay? It's Sosa, Tony. My sources tell me you're back, working the streets. Don't think you're going to get very far. Hey, que pasa, man? I got an offer for you. I buy your store, I make you a socio de negocio, okay? Together, we bring in only the best. Muy bien, but I can't sell you this store unless I get my papers back. My accountant ran off with a local thug, and together they're trying to take over the cigar market. If you find her, you can get what we need.
accountant wasn't very good with numbers, man. Gracias, Tony. It is with great pleasure that I sell you my store and be part of your empire. Is this it? Is this what it's all about? Killing, driving, dealing, swearing. Then what? You're 50? You got a bag for a belly. You got tits? You need a bra. They got hair on them. You got a liver? You got spots on it. And you're looking like these rich fucking mummies. You like We're that, all huh? Just having fun here. Don't ruin it. You Come on. fucking piece of shit. Jesus. Who sent you? Fuck you. Look at me. Look me in the eyes, man. Who fucking sent you, huh? Sosa? <laughs> What's so funny, huh? You're gonna die, man. I don't give a fuck. What do you think, Montana? Huh? You think Sosa is the only one who wants you dead? Gaspar? Fuck you, Montana. The Diaz brothers send their regards. I hope they treated your mama well. Mama? No! <laughs> Soy el diablo. What kind of sick fuck eats a pancake for dinner? Holy shit! You and your fucking brother are dead! You and the Esther fucker, which means your ass is mine. Boys. anymore, putas. Tony Montana is taking it all back. The Diaz brothers want a war, they got a war. You got that? Give a fuck. Tony Montana. Hey, who the fuck is this? How'd you get my number? My name is Pablo. I work for your lawyer, Sheffield. He asked me to track you down because he's got some important information for you. You need to meet with him. Come on, man. What you take me for, huh? I'm not some fucking clown, you know. 
Why the fuck don't Sheffield call me himself? How'd you know how to reach me here? Oh yeah, Mr. Montana. We think we may know where your wife is. Elvira. Elvira? You sure? Where? Where is she? Meet me in the industrial port. We can talk in person. Pablo? Hey, coño! Coño, what the fuck? Yo, Pablo? Mr. Montana, oh yeah, it's good to meet you. Sheffield's waiting for us close by. He's not comfortable being seen in public with you right now. He believes you're too hot. Sheffield is a pussy. That's why he's a lawyer. What do you know about Elvi? Well, no, Mr. Sheffield wouldn't tell me. That's, uh, that's personal information between him and you. I'm just to help. Where are we going? Well, I thought it might be appropriate to meet up at the old Freedom Town. You know, when you got your start in America. Freedom Town? That place was a fucking prison, man. There's nothing free about that one. I worked my way out of that. But it goes down now. Good for private meetings. Sheffield sends in regards. Have a nice trip. Fucking prick. You fuck with me, you die, okay? Go set up. I give you that. Hey, I take precautions. Old Sosa thought he ran me out, but I was waiting for someone to take the fight to him. Well, now you've arrived. And with your storehouses and my supply, we could rule Miami. You on the islands, and me in Miami. You grow it, I sell it. Sounds like a good deal to me, man. Hey, I just want a safe place to sell my goods. You have respect for this business, Tony. You are someone I can trust. The trust is all you got, you know? Well, then we can do business. I got more on these islands than Sosa and Bolivia anyway. I own this island. No one does anything here without my word. And you just say the word, and I'm ready to go, okay? Okay, okay. I'll set it up. I like the way you work, Montana. Showing up here with no backup. That takes balls. Hey, I figure you want me that easier to kill me in Miami, right? Besides, like you say, I don't die so good. <laughs> That's true. Let's focus on Sosa, huh? We both want him dead. From your mouth to God's ears, I'm the guy that can make that happen. Do you know why I can get a decent drink around here? Sure. I know just the place. Down the road, you'll find the Venus Bar. My ex-girl runs it. She hears everything. A good source. Thanks, man. Hey, Tony. Watch your step. She's a tiger. I need a drink. Is this your bar? It is today. Might not look like much, but she got it where it counts. Our distinguished clientele keeps me informed on everything that happens on these islands. So what? So you can gossip to the cops or something? Make a little money? You apparently haven't met any of our fine local law enforcement. Making some money, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's what makes life worth living, ain't it? 
Okay, now you speak my language, baby. Here's my number. You call me any time, okay? I make it worth your while. Mm-hmm. That's tempting. You maybe could do me a favor first, huh? There's some big fat asshole on Black Sands that think he the big shit on a very small pot. Keeps fucking up the local girls. Hey, what you talking about? He likes beating women. Gets him off. Then he dumps the bodies off the back of his casino and lets the sharks clean up the mess. What's his name, chica? You want, I do him for you. Nacho something. Nacho Contreras? The fat fuck with no neck? I do you a favor, you do me a favor, okay? Sure, Tony. That's the way it works down here. As long as I don't have to swallow. Swallow? Hey, we talk about that later, baby, okay? Hey, cabron, what the fuck is going on? Hey, fuck you, old man. You better be giving me all your money, or I'll be fucking you up like my bitch. You. I'm a 16th Street Crip, motherfucker. What'd you say? You fuck a 16-year-old cripple, bitch? Hey, I don't need that shit in my life, okay? You pieces of shit got one choice. You leave this guest alone, or you die, okay? No womb, no man, you fucking die. Hey, baby, how come you out here selling your ass? Not a lot of choices in this city. What you talking about? Me? I come here with nothing. Now I got a huge house, cars, houses, Power. Well, who did you fuck to get it? You don't get shit in this world unless you're fucking somebody for it. Fucking somebody? I'm fucking Miami. Fucking all of it. I'm living the American fucking dream. Well, how do you fuck a city? <laughs> By giving them just what they want, baby. A way to forget how pathetic their lives are. Wow, we do have something in common. I just need to aim higher. Thanks. <laughs> I'll hey, fuck it. You waiting for, for some that. spare Don't change? Don't let this whore interrupt your business, okay? Bob. Fuck Bob. You need relax and blow a stick, man. Oh, blow a stick. That's your fucking answer for everything, man. Everything, everything, man. I can't understand a fucking word you're talking about. Don't get yourself so hot, man. Maybe I should kill you now. Save me the trouble later. Not if you talk like that, man. We should get together, you know? Wow, you looking top dollar, Tony. Hey, que pasa, man? Shit, baby, how are you? Hey, what kind of customer you like, Mariko? The kind with money, honey. You want some company? Uh, no. Maybe in the next life, you know? I got enough beef in my pants already. Honey, you look like you need to relax. You change your mind, you know where to find me. Sure, man. But aren't you worried somebody gets surprised, maybe get angry when they see your twig and berries? I made men into women for trying to push me around. I can handle myself, and it's their fault if they don't ask me. I don't lie to anybody, I'm just not volunteering anything either. Okay, but you might want to get the uh, electrolysis, you know? The mustache is starting to show. Thanks, honey, I'll do that. You take care now, here. So how come you run this bar with no men around? Men can't be trusted. They lie and cheat and steal. No respect for anything except their own dicks. You don't need a man to keep your company, Tiger? I need one, I buy one. They all around like a bunch of rotten fruit on the tree. All cheap and easy like a bunch of wild dogs. Oh, you just need to find yourself a good man, baby. Someone to settle down with, you know? Can you imagine me settling down? Nah. I got no need for that. Resting is what death is for, you know? I hear you, man. Being alive is all about living. Maybe dangerous, like your life, maybe. Maybe just appreciating the challenges of doing the things you want to do. Never trust a man to do another man's job, right, Tony? Perhaps I underestimated your desire, your motivation. I'll tear you apart again, Tony. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. You can't win. You will never win. Go fuck yourself. You shouldn't play with money, baby. It's bad for your skin. I don't play with money. I make it. What, you cut off him money? No. I run accounts for this casino. It's my job to make sure it makes money. Okay. But you're far too good-looking to be in accounts, you know? You should work for me in Miami. I have a much nicer place than this piece of shit, I tell you that. 
I'm not sure if Nacho would approve. Nacho Contreras? That fucking guy. Do you know him? He's on my list. Well, you can probably speak to him yourself. He should be here any minute. He loves to bet on the cocks. What the fuck is this? Montana? You're supposed to be dead! Sosa fucking killed you! Get that Cuban piece of shit off of my boat! I'll be right back, baby. Rogame for tu vida! Nacho, you fucking hassa! Fuck you, Montan! I won't give you the pleasure Sosa will get to you. You can count on that! That's good, you know. I want him to find me. I want that piece of shit to fucking come and get me. Why don't you tell him, Contreras, okay? Tell him to fucking come and get me! See you in hell, Montana! Give my regards to Manny and Gina, you piece of shit! Beat me up, you blood suckers! Hey, que pasa, man? What's the problem? You don't understand. These guys hit black markets all over the world. They're organized, smart. Then let's welcome them to the fucking club, okay? Give them an invitation they never forget. Well, pickup isn't until three. These guys, I can feel them coming already. We need to hold them off until my boys arrive. Hey, you know how to handle a machine gun? What I look like? Some kind of stewardess? Antonio Martana. Trouble's coming, man. These guys, they're killers. Asshole, goddamn informer son of a bitch, gets to the DEA before we get to him, he'll bust up this entire operation. <laughs> we'll be looking at 20 years at Danbury. Watch, man, you know? Gonna have a fucking heart attack. Excuse me? This is my job we're talking about. I take my job seriously, man. It's all I got. I'll pay you to stop this fucker. What do you say, man? Nacho Jesus. operates a cargo ship just offshore. He just finished loading tons of the White Devil before you killed his ass. <laughs> Good riddance, too, I say. My boys will fly into the scene, Slick. Hey, thanks for your help. Take care. And don't get your ass shot off, all right? Nacho's men are disorganized now. You got a good chance of this. The ship is heavily guarded, but keep your eye out for attack boats. Do 
something. How's that feel, huh? Die, Capro! You stupid fuck! Ah, you dead. Hey, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? We were put into these containers for our freedom in America. Containers? What the fuck? What's your name? Maribel. We're looking to start new lives in America. I know exactly how you feel. As payment for freeing us, we will do any work you ask of us. Many of us have uh, special skills that may prove useful to you. Hello? Tony, Venus. You know it's costing a fucking fortune to call you on that stupid new phone of yours. Okay, so make it quick. I don't have all day either, baby, you know? Okay, then. I found out that Nacho's Big Front in Miami is an auto chop shop that he runs out of the industrial park. You should probably check it out when you get there. Thanks, baby. How many maricons you serve today? None since you left. Bye, Antonio. Hey, leech in that. Can't you drive this boat? Yes, yes we can. Okay, this is what I want you to do. This place I never like. My friend Angel was killed here. I owe it to him to make this place special, you know? I want to buy it from you. You know, I've been looking to sell the Sunray for years, but until its reputation improves, it's worth nothing. I can't seem to stop dealers from using it for business. It seems like someone is killed here every week. There's a dealer upstairs right now who seems extremely unstable. Nothing gets my nose out of joint as fast as someone trying to hustle me. Hey, how's it going? You gonna stand there all day, huh? Who's your daddy? What, you fucking high or what? Take it easy, pal, huh? You strapped? Huh? You carry? You wired? Keep your Vaseline paws out of your pants, okay? Hey, uh, where's your buddies? Huh? Huh? You didn't come alone, did you, pal? Eh, it doesn't matter. I take care of myself. You know it. You know it. Step into my office. My name's Jimmy. Don't fuck with me, Jimmy, okay? You don't want to fuck with me, I'm telling you. And you double-cross me, you dig in your own grave, man. Here's an angle. You die. I eat your heart. I thereby inherit all your inner strength. But I wouldn't want your strength, see? Because you, pal, are a fucking pussy. So run. Run. And you don't ever, never fucking look back. Surprise, bitches! Dead man! Oh. How's that feel? Huh? Shoot! Oh. Oh. Go ahead! You almost hit me! Fuck you! Uh, Jimmy won't be coming back anytime soon, you know? He went on a uh, permanent vacation. Sell me this place and I'll make a name for it again, okay? No more trouble. Sounds great to me, Mr. Montana. The Sunray is all yours. So you are working with the Sandman. That scum has always been trying to fuck me over. And now he has the little Kuban to help him. If he doesn't fuck you over first, Tony, you know I will. What an asshole. We need trucks to move this shit. The trucks are ready and loaded with the coke from the tanker. You just need to make the delivery safe and sound. I gotta warn you, words already hit the streets that Nacho is out of the picture. Gomez and the Diaz brothers will be looking to expand. Let those pieces of shit come to me, okay? I'm ready now.
Thank you for helping me to freedom. Perhaps we will meet again. Okay, Tiger. I got a nice place to stay if you ever need, you know? <laughs> claro. Oh, I could use a fucking drink. Hey, Tony! Tony. Oh, it's yeah, always a pleasure to see you. Plans for later? Everyone you have ever cared for is dead, Tony. The Reaper is grateful. I intend to add you to his list, you fucking persistent little monkey. Don't you fuck with me! Okay, cocksuckers. You got one choice now. Gaspar's gonna lose everything he ever had to me. The war's almost over. You got that? Come on! Who's gonna face me? Yo, you trying to piss me off? What you got, man? I got nine lives, okay? Nothing can touch me now. The Colombians have been trying to move in on my operation for years. I've always managed to keep them off my shit, but the politics seem to have worn off on them. They've been threatening my plantation workers, and recently one of them was killed in a dispute. I'm declaring war on them, Tony. I'm going to war with the Colombians. Fuck the Colombians. They got some serious resources, man. I know, I know. The Colombians are a worldwide organization. They have bigger fish to fry. If we push hard enough now, we can deal with this quickly. I don't know, man. I think you might be as crazy as me. How many people do you got to help us out? I'm ready, Tony. Okay. Where do we start? The plantation. The workers need to be protected. have hit back hard. I told you, man, they're on fucking top for a reason. I know how strong they are, Tony. We started this war, we're gonna finish it. 
They found my processing lab, shut it down, and are holding many of our workers hostage. We need to move in and clean this shit up. Fuck. We need deep in this shit now. Tony, it's good to see you. How are you? Could use a fucking vacation, man. But as long as that fuck Sosa lives, I can never rest. I know that. I want this for you, Tony. I do. You have done a lot for me, and now it's about time that I help you. What you got in mind, man? I want to sell my plantation to you, Tony. You can own the biggest source of product this side of Colombia. You got the support system in place, and you own Miami. This would ensure that you have a constant, secure supply. It will complete your empire and allow you to focus on what's really important. Sosa. This is good, man. Real good. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, okay? Good luck, Tony. Tony! Hi, Over here! Look at you! Why don't you do something with yourself instead of hanging around here all the time? You're like some kind of fucking statue or something. Freaky, you know? You're never around, baby. I get lonely, you know? Hey, what you waiting for, honey? Someone to fuck? If my mother could see me now. You should have died a long time ago, Tony. You want a war with me, you fucking little monkey? I'll give you a war you will never forget. Hey, this phone call is over, man. Gentlemen, I wish to discuss something that is of interest to all of us here. I have a problem. We have a problem. Uh, get to the point, Alex. Montana's been a fly on our shit ever since you sent your hit squad to Miami. Since then, he's been on a goddamn mission to personally fuck us in the ass. Yes. Well, I might remind you that you haven't been any more successful at taking care of Montana than I have. Mr. Gomez. Hey, I never had a problem with him until you stirred the pot. I hold you responsible, Alex. And the only reason I'm here is to make sure that I get a deal out of this. Ah, fuck. Why don't you two stop bickering about who fucked up where and put your money where your mouth is? Sosa, you have connections with the military here. Give him some money and roll some tanks on the prick. Come on. Do you believe our friends in Washington would approve of Bolivian tanks on the streets of Miami, George? Fuck Washington. I got them in my back pocket. A few greenbacks spread to the right hand, you make them look the other way for a day, never hurt anybody. Jesus Christ, you fucking lawyers are all the same. Montana has declared war on everybody in Miami, and he's obviously not going to stop until he steps into this goddamn living room. Tony, baby, hey, hey, come on, you need to think about this. You gotta think a little more. Fuck you, George, you fucking worm. Put the fucking gun away. What are you, crazy? Why are you, are you on drugs? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, OK. 
Okay, man. Prepare to fucking die! Fuck me in the ass. This is my law, George! Holy shit, Montana, how the fuck did you get here? How many babies have you eaten today, Gaspar, huh? Babies? What the fuck are you talking about? You still fucked up on your own supply? You fucking addict. You have no respect for this business. All I care about is Sosa's head on a platter to serve to the fucking dogs. Join your family in hell, Montana! Oh, yeah! You have It's over, Gaspar! It's over for you now! You hear? So, how's this going to work, Tony? How do we solve our problem? You're going to die, Alex, for everything you've done in your entire life. <laughs> what about what you did? I told you not to fuck me, and you did, Tony. There were kids in the fucking car, Alex! Innocent kids, huh? What kind of animals you got working for you? I want to clear something up with you, Tony, before I kill you. When you move 400 kilos a month, it's imperative that you do kill children. That way, heroes don't get confused and go on 60 minutes. They instead crawl back into the hole they came from. Hey, Sosa! Maybe it's time for you to make that call, huh? Hello, my little friend. Your friend Manny can help you now, but... Okay! Sosa, you stupid fuck! You see? I knew there wasn't a shortage of platters. Let me live, Tony. I need to support my family. It's all I got. Hey, look at me. I want to see your eyes. It's the truth. I swear. Please. You want a job, man? Ah, oh, look at this bullshit. Who deserves to be on TV? Me, that's who. Who should be on every fucking magazine cover? Me, family, me. You got that right, baby. Vodka for Venus? Gin for Tony. Hey, thanks, Manny. And you don't mind if I call you Manny, do you? Call me whatever you want, Tony. Okay. How about stupid fuck? How you like that, huh? Ha! <laughs> Just kidding, Manny. You know? The world is yours, Chico. And everything in it. So say goodnight to the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs>